August 1st through 7th is the World Breastfeeding Awareness Week. Um, and in honor of that, we're gonna, we're gonna talk about uh, some of the benefits, uh, both health and non-health benefits of breastfeeding. And here to talk to us today about that from the Florida Department of Health is Rose Baptiste. Rose, thanks so much for coming on. You're welcome. And we've also got Kathleen Oliver. Um, she is uh, nutrition education with the uh, WIC program. Uh, as well as Rose, you're with the WIC program as well, aren't you? Yes, I'm a peer counselor. Excellent. Well, ladies, thanks for coming on today. Thanks for having Thank us. You. Now, before we, before we get started into really talking about breastfeeding, I, the WIC program, for those who maybe are new to the, I mean, it's been around forever, but uh, just tell us a little bit about what the WIC program does. Well, WIC is a special supplemental nutrition program for women, infants, and children up to the age of five. Okay. And that means what, uh, as far as supplemental goes? Like food well, or what? Yes, uh huh. Uh, WIC does give uh, a nutritious food package to individuals who are at critical stages uh, in their uh, nutrient needs. For example, during pregnancy, uh, in infancy, when growth is so rapid and nutrient needs are so great. And the food package consists of healthy foods. For example, for the exclusively breastfeeding mother, uh, we offer canned fish, eggs, whole grains, milk, cheese, juice, cereal, and a dollar value hmm. to use for fruits and vegetables. Wow. So they're good, healthy foods. So depending on where you're at in, in your childhood's development may depend on what kind of uh, supplements or vouchers that you may get through the WIC program. The foods are basically going to be the same. Okay. Uh, the exclusively breastfeeding package is a little bit larger and they offer uh, the canned fish. Um, but And for those babies who are not breastfeeding, they get infant formula, but the, the amounts of the foods will vary depending okay. on nutrient needs. Excellent. Now, obviously we're, we're here to talk about breastfeeding. Um, you know, this coming, you know, coming up is Breastfeeding Awareness Week. Mm -hmm. um, what, uh, I mean, every year they kind of come up with a, with a theme or whatever. What is this year's theme? This year's theme is breastfeeding, a winning goal for life. It draws attention to the fact that it takes a team to help the mother realize her breastfeeding goals. That, that team can be the mom and baby, of course, they make up a team. Right. Also, the team can include doctors and nurses, employers, family members, friends, the WIC staff. Uh, there's many different people and institutions and agencies that make up the mother's breastfeeding team. Yeah. Now, why, why is breastfeeding important to women of Polk County? I mean, like, what, what is it that makes it so special? Well, there's so many health benefits to breastfeeding and uh, it helps with school readiness. We know studies show that mothers who breastfeed their babies are much more likely to talk to their babies, to handle their babies, and it affects the long-term welfare of the child, it affects the mother, and in the long run, the community. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Now, I've, I've heard that, uh, you know, sometimes that breastfeeding can also reduce certain um, health health effects or whatever is, is that developmental benefits um, they're smarter um, breastfed babies are held more talked to more and um, picked up more often which helps with brain development and school readiness now here in Polk County you said you wanted to uh, raise awareness raise participation what are some of the goals that you have for the county well, there are international and national breastfeeding goals established by uh, health institutions like the American Academy of Pediatrics, the Centers for Disease Control, the World Health Organization. What we would like to see here in Polk County is for the individual breastfeeding goals to reflect those international and national goals. And that is exclusively breastfeed for at least six months with continued breastfeeding for at least one year. That may be our goal, but that's not necessarily every woman's goal. 
people. Right. So ultimately, what we try to do in WIC is to help each woman realize her own individual goal and form her own breastfeeding team. Right. Well, now, obviously, that's got to be a huge task because, uh, you know, women are having babies all the time. Uh, you know, we've got a large population of, of babies in, in Polk County. How do you keep up with the demand to develop these speci specialized plants for each mother? Well, we have peer counselors, for example, that work with each individual mother. We also train our entire staff in breastfeeding, from the clerical staff on up, even our administrative staff gets trained in breastfeeding. So when a woman comes into the WIC office, she is met by a team of individuals that are trained to help her meet her goal. Okay. Now, you had mentioned that, you know, obviously there's, there's national and also state level goals. What does, I mean, what does the Florida Department of Health how are they involved with Polk County here in, in the breastfeeding effort? Well, the Florida Department of Health in Polk County uh, supports the goals that are set by those respected institutions, which is, again, the exclusive breastfeeding for six months with continued breastfeeding beyond one year. Mm. Uh, through the WIC program, the mother is able to get individual help if that's what she needs, or we also serve uh, women through group classes. We even have phone follow-up that's available. And with the, the foods on the WIC package, the mother gets a lot of help. One thing that is unique to the Florida Department of Health here in Polk County is that we have a bring your baby to work policy. And that policy allows mothers who are exclusively breastfeeding to bring their babies to work for six months. It serves as a wonderful advertisement for breastfeeding, yeah. and we, we love having the babies. It's a win-win <laughs> situation. Yeah. Well, that kind of brings about a, a question that I, I was thinking about was, you know, these mothers that are, you know, forced to go to work, you know, they have to continue their, their jobs um, and their babies are maybe in daycare or with a nanny or something like that. Um, I mean, do they have to feel guilty about, you know, breastfeeding part of the day when they're, when they're there and available and using formula other parts of the day? I mean, how does that work? Well, our goal is to help the mother reach her goal. And that goal is going to be different for everyone. Many women will combine breastfeeding and formula feeding. The ideal is to exclusively breastfeed as long as that mother can, as mm -hmm. long as it fits into her goal. You know, one thing that is important to remember is that any amount of breast milk is far superior to none. So I don't know that the mother needs to feel guilty. I think, you know, where, where we come in is to give her good information right. and the support and help, and someone like Rose would come in and help her uh, with, reach her breastfeeding goal and just do what she feels is best for her family. So a lot of times I'm sure mothers, new mothers have a lot of questions about breastfeeding. How do they get a hold of you? How do they get information from you? What's the process there? As a peer counselor, I meet with mothers individually before baby is born to discuss their importance of breastfeeding and the benefits of breastfeeding um, and helping them establish a goal to breastfeed. And then I also teach group classes where we teach the how-tos, how to know mommy is making enough milk, how mm -hmm. to latch and support baby. And after baby is born, we reach out to mothers for problem solving and being a part of their support system throughout their breast breastfeeding goals. Now, with the WIC program, who who's eligible for it? I mean, is it, is it for all mothers or is it just for specific income levels? I mean, how does that work? Well, you do have to be income eligible to qualify for WIC, but the income guidelines are very generous. Mm -hmm. You have 185% uh, of poverty or below, and to give you an example, a family of four can make about $42,600 per year before taxes and qualify for WIC. So the income guidelines are very generous, yeah. and uh, we serve 
um, women who have just delivered babies up to at least six months, whether they are breastfeeding or they are not breastfeeding. Right. We serve infants, and for our purposes, an infant is a child under the age of one, and children through the age of five. In addition to being income eligible, if you qualify for Medicaid, food stamps, and TANF, you uh, will automatically be income eligible, and then there uh, needs to also be a nutrition risk to qualify for WIC. Okay. Now, what um, the WIC, like I said, the WIC program has been around for ages. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, for a very long time. How long has it been around for? It's been around for forty years. Forty years, yeah. So well before my time. <laughs> Um, what, obviously the program has come a long way, the okay. science of nutrition has come a long way. Um, the care, the, the prenatal care, the, uh, the postnatal care, what's new with, with WIC? I mean, it, there's a lot of new stuff going on. There is a lot of new stuff, and we are excited that starting in January of this year, WIC changed from a voucher system with paper vouchers to an EBT, an electronic benefits transfer that makes system. Sense. Yeah. And it's easy and painless now to come to WIC and to get your benefits. That's great. Yeah, I remember growing up, and my mom had to go to. You know, go to the WIC, the WIC station or the WIC office, which was 30 miles away, and you know, it was it, it became a real task for 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 my family to get you know their their cheese and their milk and you know what whatever else. But um, that's that's really great that now you don't have to. Well, you still have to go into the office, okay. but it's a much it's a faster process, and the time that you spend in the checkout line is reduced. Right. All you have to do is just swipe your card. You can get as few or as many items at one time as you want. And the vendors also love it. For them, it reduces their processing costs by about 90%. Yeah, sure. So the client likes it and the vendor likes it also. Now, with all these, with the new changes, making it more, you know, much more simple, the new science behind everything mm -hmm. and nutrition values and all that stuff, all of this seems to be very simple. What about the enrollment process? I mean, because, you know, Rose, you had mentioned, you meet with them be prenatal. You know, you, you meet with them before the birth of the child. When do, you, when do you do the enrollment process? What's it like? The enrollment process is streamlined and easier since we've gone to the electronic system. The best thing for someone to do is to call a WIC office and set up an appointment. Our clinics have Saturday hours in many cases. Some of the clinics open before 8 o'clock in the morning, so for those clients who have to get to the job, we make it simple. And there are clinics all over. Polk and Hardy County. We have a clinic in Auburndale, Winter Haven, two in Lakeland, Fort Meade, Bartow, Lake Wales, Haines City, and Wachula. So no matter where you're at, you're just a short drive away from You're just from one a of the short clients. drive away. That's excellent. Very good. Well, ladies, um, this has been an interesting conversation for me because a lot of this stuff I know nothing about, and so you have enlightened me um, about the importance of breastfeeding and, and you know how it affects the children. Thank you for, so much for coming on. You're welcome. Thank you for having us. Mm -hmm. That's the WIC program. Uh, what a great way to safeguard the health of Polk County. Um, these women and children need, uh, need nutrition. If you're out there and you're thinking, you know what, I'm about to have a baby and WIC is something that, uh, that I am completely interested in, then you need to get a hold of them. Uh, they've got all kinds of stuff. Of course, we're highlighting breastfeeding, but it goes much further beyond that. Um, but listen, the clinics are everywhere around Polk County. They're doing everything that they can to help you. So get in touch with them. It's really simple. All you've got to do is call them 863-284-3075 or get on their website at floridawic.org. That's floridawic.org.